Indonesia, characterized by a fossil fuel-based electricity production, is taking action into the energy transition to more sustainable ways of producing and consuming electricity. Adding to sustainability, the project idea from the Mediterranean Renewable Energy Center Smart Microgrids in the Mediterranean context evolves from the need of low energy educational buildings, which are becoming the norm for new construction in European and Mediterranean countries. This Smart Microgrid project aims to develop the basis to a national policy that regulates the use of microgrids in the Mediterranean context. There are three major objectives for this project. The first one is to develop a numerical model for the microgrid system on a lab scale using the SmartNest Energy Management platform. Once the implementation on a lab scale is completed, we'll shift it to a small scale which is actually a microgrid system to be installed in Zahuan, Tunisia. The second major objective is to perform a survey to study the feasibility of energy trading applications. Finally, we have to develop a trading model for energy management. These objectives have to be accomplished considering the constraints of time, cost, scope, quality, benefits and risks which includes activity disruption due to COVID-19 or hardware and software breakdowns. In agreement with our stakeholders, our project has been divided in four different stages, each of them with main deliverables, milestones and tasks. First, the simulation and optimization of microgrids. Second, the peer-to-peer -peer energy trading model. Third, the optimization of an energy management system, and four, the performance analysis of smartness. Our project comes with the profound support of different actors and stakeholders, including, but not limited to, the project team of DENSIS, the Mediterranean Renewable Energy Center, METREC, the National Engineering School of Tunis, GAMCO and Latency Startups, ESADE Business School, and of course, University of Lorraine. Due to the multidisciplinary nature of our project, the team is comprised of members from diverse backgrounds, including electrical and electronics, mechanical and energy engineering. Fortnightly online and in-person meetings will be held between our team and the supervisor to monitor our work progress and to provide the needed assistance for the next dimensions. Knowledge boundaries may exist by virtue of the interdisciplinary nature of our project. Syntactic, semantic, and pragmatic boundaries may exist by the different approaches, main outcomes, main concerns, and work ethics of the different actors involved in our project. We will take active measures to overcome these boundaries by elucidating shared knowledge, including different communication and information sharing tools, and setting a common basis of guidelines and standards. Also, we will make use of different key boundary objects, such as repositories, standardized methods, local regulation, demonstration, and simulations for a seamless communication within parties. Finally, to strengthen this communication link, we'll have an active management of the stakeholders' expectations. For this, stakeholders and their preferred communication methods will be taken into account. Also, all the parties will be involved in the decision-making with timely updates and expectations and measure of success of our project will be accurately mapped. As part of our commitment to sustainable development, we'll implement the seven core principles of socially responsible behavior. Accountability, transparency and ethical behavior will be ensured by regular follow-ups from the supervisors as well as the team leaders and free access to the documentation of the project to the stakeholders. While making decisions, all stakeholders will be taken on board Although the project focuses on Mediterranean context only, that is specifically Tunisia, but it will have a benchmark analysis based on the experience of other countries, so we will respect the international norms of behavior. Finally, while implementing each step, we will ensure that no local laws are violated.